Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and then uh, I'm going to do a past, present, and future, and somebody that is coming into your life or that is in your life now, we're just going to get their energy, okay? Um, so what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, whatever. How, wherever Aquarius lies in your chart. Anyhow, what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 911. So you can take this however you want it. Uh, 911 may be, to me, when I think of 911, I think of an emergency. I created this deck, so. When I created it, I was thinking of emergency. Um, there's still something on this car. Which I, anyhow, um, when I created it, I was thinking emergency, emergency. There's, I don't know if there's an emergency, but you know, since I've created, I've created it, I've come up with some different perspectives, and maybe you're going to come up with a different perspective. Um, nines are near completion. Ones are manifestation. They are new beginnings. So you may be completing near near completing a cycle in your life and about to begin another one. Maybe with a partner if you've been single. Um, nine one one. Nines are really close to completion. This something may also be happening around September 11th, or September 11th may be prominent for you. Um, but I, what I really feel like this this is, you know, nine is is some sort of clo closure. You know, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. It is. It's time to move on from something. Um, and start something new, you know, it's, it is, it, it is. Um, we do have a new beginning here, we do. We may have some, a closing of a chapter, you know, that leads you down a more spiritual path because uh, ones are a very spiritual number. So I just gotta show you what's on the bottom because I feel like it's it must be prominent. 888. 888 is a card of the time is now, right now, right now, right now, right now. It's also a card of abundance. It's also infinity, okay? It's never ending. There's a never ending flow, okay? It's also a card of change. So I do believe that uh, your life is about to change. I really feel like it's in a very positive, positive, positive way because this is overflowing abundance coming into your life. So whatever is happening, you know, I think that it, there's some sort of change and maybe it's just emergent change, you know. Whatever it is, I feel like it's very, very, very positive with those eights. Um, something, you know, what goes when the, whenever I see that, I, it's what goes around comes around as well. So something is coming back around to you and it's whatever it is, it's abundant. It's a, some abundance is coming towards you. Is that's the way I feel. So what do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, a Page of Wands. So definitely good news. Very very positive. That's in your past though, but you know it could certainly be playing out now. Uh, maybe you've been expecting some sort of arrival or you've been expecting a message. You've been expecting some good news. You've been waiting to get what you deserve. The Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Page of Wands. <clears throat> it feels like you've been waiting for something. You know, you've been focusing. You've been focusing on your future. You've been focusing on your new direction. You know, you're, you're thinking very positive. But you're obviously manifesting something as well with that 911 because Wands is, is manifestation. Um, you're going to, going to be receiving something that you have been waiting for. And I think your positive mindset is bringing it in, whatever it is. <clears throat> Anyhow, what about, what about the present? Knight of Wands reversed, Four of Swords reversed, and Ace of Wands reversed. So presently you may be feeling a little 
a sick and tired, frustrated, fed up. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting for your abundance. You're waiting for your payout. You're waiting to receive. I can see that you are. And you've been really positive. Do not lose that focus, okay? It feels like you're being weight, you feel weighed down, or you're starting to lose your drive, or you're starting to lose your ambition, or you're just extremely fed up right now. I feel like things may not be progressing as fast as you'd like, or things are going way too fast. Anyway, let's uh, get the future. Nine of Cups, upright. Two of, two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So, you know, it's interesting that I wore yellow because yellow is a very positive, life-giving energy. And this is a very positive, life-giving energy. You may be vibrating at a whole different level. It feels like you are. But anyway, let's just talk about the person. What about this person that you are questioning or is coming into your life? What's, what's going on with this other person? What's going on with this other person? How do they feel? What's going on with them? Who is this person? Let's talk about them. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Hangman reversed. Struggling. Sun reversed. You got somebody here that is depressed. They're in a dark space. They are not seeing clearly. They're struggling with their ego. This they are. The hey man reverse is somebody that is, is refusing, refuses. They're, this is refusing to change. Wheel of Fortune reversed. That is uh, bad timing. Your person may not be very awoken. They may not be very awake. You know, the sun reversed. It's dark. They may be depressed. They're trying to prove points. They're in their ego. Wheel of Fortune reversed. That is stuck clinging to control, um, and same with the hangman reverse. Whoever you're dealing with may have some control issues. They may have some control issues. They may be, they may be sacrificing themselves to prove a point. You know, it feels like you're dealing with somebody who has some sort of point to prove. They may be experiencing some bad luck in their life or some, some dark times because they're refusing to change. This is somebody that refuses to wake up per se. They refuse, they refuse to, there's a lack of enlightenment here with the hangman reverse and the sun reverse. They refuse to uh, look at things from a new perspective. Somebody that you're dealing with is very stuck. They're very, very stuck. They're stuck in their ways. They are, um, it feels like they're disillusioned. Um, and they're probably experiencing some setbacks in their life because it's like almost like they're refusing to evolve. This is somebody that you're dealing with. One more card. High Priestess Reverse. Not very awakened. Not very spiritual. So you are definitely dealing with somebody that may be in a low vibrational energy with the Sun card reversed. This person lacks awareness. They lack spirituality. Or they may have uh, gotten some poor advice you know, this person, or they're not listening to their gut, or they're, they're, they've listened to some poor advice from somebody that is dark. You know, they may have gotten some dark advice from somebody or something like that. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is not ready. They're not ready to start because of that sun card reversed. They're not ready to let go of their old perspectives. They're not ready to wake up. Whoever you're dealing with is not ready to wake up. They're not. They're not. They're stuck. They're stuck. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Hangman reversed. Some, and I don't know, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Leo. You have Pisces a couple times. Um, you could also be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like, I feel like uh, there's a delay with whoever you're dealing with because this person is resisting. They're resisting any type of movement right now. It's like they got their feet stuck in the ground and they're refusing to budge. Um, but I feel like you've been waiting, okay? You've been waiting to get what you deserve. You've been focusing on your future. You know, you've been getting prepared. You've been working on your health. You're really, really focused on new in, on your new direction. I feel like you are, um, you know, just really 
creating a new vision for yourself or a new life for yourself you're in the you're in the you're in the process of creating with that page of wands i feel like and i think you have been i think you've really been uh hoping and praying for the best focusing on the future embarking on new things you've been working hard you've been getting i feel like you've been receiving some rewards for your hard work as well if you haven't you should be really 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 soon because i feel like whatever you've been waiting for is absolutely coming but i feel like it's not coming very fast and right now you're growing frustrated you know and this may have this may not have to do with the partnership it may have to do with fortune it may have to do with money it may have to do with a job or some sort of payout that you're expecting whoever you're dealing with um is not in a good space and they're unwilling to budge at this time so just so you know that but presently I feel like you're tired I feel like you're tired I feel like you're fed up you may be overwhelmed life may be moving it's either it's either going too slow or it's going extremely too fast for you I feel like there's a there's like uh, a need to slow down I think that and maybe you need to slow down maybe you need to take a break maybe you need to maybe you need to get some sleep maybe you need to heal maybe maybe you've been trying too hard you know trying to uh, build up some sort of business or build up your financial success or or something like or you've been trying to ha get too hard to get some sort of reciprocation from somebody you know because six of six of one or six of pentacles about give and take I think that you've been waiting for somebody to give to you or give whatever this is you've been waiting for somebody to give something to you and I see frustrations here maybe you need to take a time out maybe you need to take a time out slow your butt down and just focus on yourself I feel like there's a something is going south with the ace of wands reverse maybe your desire or your passion or your drive whatever it is maybe you've tried been trying to you know you obviously been waiting for something to come to life and it's not coming to life something isn't coming to life we get the we get the four of swords reversed the ace of wands reversed the sun reversed you know as you're waiting for this new life right you're waiting for something to manifest it's happening it is happening trust me it is you see the nine is almost almost okay the next one is ten which is the completion it's almost 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 okay it's almost here you're about to get what you deserve you're about to get it don't don't stop manifesting don't stop thinking positive because your thoughts become things and I think that you're starting to give up you're starting to feel you know like you're wasting your time you're not wasting your time you need to keep working on it keep working keep working on yourself think positive think positive um, and keep getting prepared because something is arriving okay something that is going to bring balance to your life it's something you have been waiting for okay um, some of you may be waiting for a new suitor because the page of wands can be a new suitor it doesn't have to be but something is about to burst into your world that is it's you, what you've been waiting for. It may not be in the package that you envisioned it, but it is part of your vision in some way. Anyhow, in your future, the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It is happiness. It is getting what you asked for. But the Two of Pentacles right next to it, next to it, is a change. It's a realignment. It's a profit and a loss. So, it's a profit and a loss. Okay, so. I think that you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt to some sort of change. They're going to be bringing you what you asked for. I know that they are, but it's going to require you to change. And it may be that you have to change your perspective. I feel like this does have to do with love. Maybe it's your perspective on love because the Ace or the Queen of Cups is love. Um, it's all about love. Um, you may need to be open to love. You may need to. Um, Choose to let something go to get what you deserve. And that's exactly what this is. Maybe you need to let go of your ego. Sometimes, and, and there is ego in this Nine of Cups card. We have somebody here that is very, very arrogant. You know, this is arrogance. Getting what you want. Yes, you're going you're gonna to be very happy with whatever it is that you are receiving. You are. You're going to be very happy. It's going to be like, aha, I got what I wanted. Yeah, you did get what you wanted, but... 
this the two of pentacles is a card of adapting you're going to need to adapt you 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 may have to let something go now the ace of i mean the ace i keep wanting to i think i've done that twice now the ace of cups this does it's the queen of cups but i think this is this has to do with love it does have to do with love you're going to be in your feelings you're really going to be in your feelings you may be even having some chaotic feelings by the end of this week i feel like somebody is really going to be expressing feelings to you this person has been closed off emotionally and i feel like they've been closed off emotionally because maybe they've been uneasy about change you know, whoever you're dealing with is uh, thinking about love. They're thinking about taking another step with you. Um, but I feel like they are struggling with giving in. It's almost like they don't want to give in. They don't want to lose control. They don't, they don't want to um, give up their, their power in some way. Maybe they don't want to give up their independence. But I do believe that you are going to be um, receiving some sort of good news or an offer or an invite or things are going to get better with whoever this person is. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings to you and it's going to make you extremely happy after you have been extremely frustrated waiting for this to unfold. Um, the, whoever you're dealing with has refused to wake up. They have received poor advice, maybe from a tarot reader or a friend or, you know, somebody that um, is dark, okay? It's dark energy. And this person isn't happy. They aren't happy at all. And I feel like they, they also have not been listening. They haven't been listening to their own gut, okay? But I feel like this person um, is experiencing some bad luck in their life because of the poor advice that they've listened to or because they didn't listen to their gut or because they let their ego because the, high, the hangman reverse is extremely egotistical it really is you know i think this person in the real of fortune is bad luck okay it's it is it's bad luck um so whoever you're dealing with may be experiencing some bad karma or bad luck because of their ego. It looks like it's because of their ego and their inability to accept new perspectives, you know, or their inability to, or this person may try to punish you at times. The hangman can symbolize punishment. Maybe they tried to punish you instead of, you know, Well, let's get another card up there. Seven of Cups reversed. Telling the truth. Page of Swords reversed. Instead of communicating. You got somebody here that is really having a hard time communicating with you. They do see very, very clearly that you are the best option. And they are watching you. They're watching you like a hawk. They are, and they are, they're watching you like a hawk and they're angry. They're angry. This person is angry. And I feel like they're, they're really struggling. Well, they're struggling with communicating with you. This person is sad. They're sad. They're sad that they didn't see. They probably have some regrets. They're angry and now they can see. They can see, but they can't communicate. They still can't communicate because of their ego. So there's there's consequences. There's consequences. Seven of Cups is a card of consequences. Somebody let their illusions get in the way. And I think they may probably chose another option to piss you off, to punish you. And that's where the karma comes in. Now that this person is experiencing some setbacks in their life, that's their consequences. And I feel like this person is, is uh, 
going through an awakening, but they're fighting it every step of the way. So anyway, right now, I feel like you are tired. I feel like you're tired. I feel like you want to live. I feel like you, you're, you've been waiting, you've been waiting, you've been waiting. I feel like it's time for you to get a move on. Let's talk about right now. This, this, this Knight of uh, Wands reversed is, you know, need to get moving. I feel like you need to get moving. I think you've lost your drive. Or, but I see that it's here. I see that it's here. I also feel like there is somebody that is around you that is uh, very that is a troublemaker. This person is very boastful. They're very cocky, and maybe it's this other the same person. I don't know. You got somebody here that is obnoxious. They are obnoxious. I don't know if they're exhausting you. So be careful. Right now, this person could be coming towards you they, they for just for sex. And that's a completely different message. It's a com It could be a completely different person. That just came to me. We may have somebody here that is coming forward that is just looking for a one-night stand. They're looking to sleep with you. I just got to be on. I got to show you this. I got to show you this. It's all. These are all reversed, but I'm going to show them to you upright. Okay, here they come. Yeah, that could be a bed, whatever. And it's very sexual. So, I but they're all reverse. It's nothing that will last. I do believe that there is somebody that is that may be pursuing you for a one night stand. I mean, I don't know. If that's not going to be for everybody. Um, there is there is somebody that is coming in that uh, also, and it may not. This person, somebody is may see that that they're losing you in some way. There could be somebody here that is sexually frustrated. Oh my goodness gracious. Five of Wands, competition. Player, player! We got a player here. We got a player. Beware, be careful. We also got the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Nine of Pentacles is a person of value. This is somebody that is solid, stable, secure, hardworking, enjoying their life. This is somebody that is very self-sufficient, that has a lot to offer. This is a very single, stable, solid, uh, independently owned and operated individual that has a lot to offer. So I feel like that, that maybe that's your energy. You may have a player. You may have a player here. We definitely do have a player here. I'm positive. Could be you. Could be them. I don't know. We definitely have a player here. It's playing games. Somebody is playing games. They are. Sexual games by the looks of things. I mean, I'm just being honest. Anyhow, I also feel like we have somebody here that knows their value, that knows their worth. You know, the Ace of Wands could be no. Nope. Nope. So uh, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very independent, independently successful, has a lot to offer, has built up their success in every way. So we do have a, a very successful person here that is going to be getting an offer or an invite from a player, just saying. And you have to make a choice because of that two of pentacles, that's a choice. Yeah, there's also an opportunity for love here as well with this queen of cups in your future. Maybe, maybe you need to tell somebody no. Self-love. This is self. Queen of Cups is love. Self-love. You're manifesting a partnership. I know that you are, especially if you're single. If you are in a partnership now, There could be a change coming with that two of pentacles in the future. That's a change. 
and a need to be flexible. Some of you could be becoming independent. This could even have to do with business. I mean, this is independently owned and operated. Anyhow, I feel like this week, you know, you're going to be approached by a player, however that resonates with you. This is somebody who uh, thrives on competition and is looking for some attention, whether it's in a sexual nature or in any other, it could be a child, it could, I don't know, somebody is going to try to... Uh, play with you, put it that way. I also believe that there is somebody in your future that is going to, uh, that you need to be patient, you need to wait for, that is going to make you extremely happy. So that's in your future. I do believe that, that um, and I think it's soon because this is the next seven days. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings to you. This person has been closed off emotionally, but I feel like they're ready to take another step because they may see you as their wish fulfillment. I don't know how this resonates with you. There's also somebody here that is experiencing some consequences for whatever abuse that they caused you. They are. They're experiencing a loss of fortune or some sort of unfortunate loss. They are. They absolutely are. Because they refuse to be honest. Anyway, in the future, you're going to be really, really happy if you can make the right choice to focus on your future focus on your path be positive don't lose hope you're about to receive an offer or an invite from somebody that you know is going to be exciting it is exciting it is but you're, there's there's i feel like there's two people here because the two of pentacles is two options it is i feel like there's there's one player okay we got definitely have a player here we also have a lover here and the Seven of Cups is choose wisely because your cho choices choose you. You're going to be caught off guard. You're going to be caught off guard by an individual who may think you don't know your value, don't, don't know your worth, or this person wants to poke you, they want to fight with you. They, it could go so many different ways. This Five of Wands, right in the present, this is a conflict. It is a conflict. It is a... It is a um, competition of some sort you could have somebody here that's sexually frustrated and they you know they just want to take advantage of you I mean I don't know that's I mean that could certainly be the case but anyhow I feel like you need to focus on your self-love you need to focus on your self-worth and be patient and wait for what you deserve wait for what you deserve you're probably going to be contacted by a player if you're in a relationship now, you know, maybe you just focus on the love that you have. Good luck.